Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, because the weather has been absolutely atrocious, I thought I'd do a little review on my DJI Action Osmo 3, or Osmo Action 3, and my Adventure Helmet, which is a Bell MX-9 Adventure Helmet. So yeah, so this is basically the setup I'm running at the moment. I'll start with the camera. So I'm running 60 frames a second at 4K. I'm running auto exposure, 5000K white balance on manual. Colours normal. If you have it on the design like, if I say it's decent like, it makes it a lot brighter. So, yeah, I have it on the normal. Field of view, I either have it on ultra wide or wide. But that's an example of wide. Ultra wide, you get the whole helmet in the camera, so you get quite a bit more, and it crops it out. You also got the standard D warped version. I, I like to run it in that. Now, when I'm running it on the helmet, I usually have another bit here to do the decibels. I turn that right down to as low as it can go. I think it's like minus twenty. So yeah, that's my setup for the Osmo Action 3. As you can tell, it's a really nice camera. Now, if I turn it off and take it out of the case, which is a bit of a fiddle, because it's not like the GoPro one where the side comes off. Right, so that's where I plug it in. I use a little adapter which is on the helmet here that plugs into there so I can use the Rode mic. This camera, I've had it running in all sorts of conditions. Just testing it. I can never get this undone. There you go. Just testing it to see what the battery is like. So this battery here is amazing. I can get easily two hours of footage with this battery. Just one battery. It's quick charge. So, so yeah. I, I've had no issues with this camera whatsoever. I am running when I can pull it out. A 128 Pro Plus Samsung come on camera focus Samsung um, micro SD hopefully I put this in the right way no, no that way he says they're a bit fiddly but when I'm recording I only ever need one so yeah, this camera, I love it. It's really, really nice. It works super well. People say it gets ridiculously hot. And they've had issues where it just shuts off. I haven't yet. I think the only time it switched off was when I had it on the side like this, down the bottom. And just recording 4K60 by my bedside. Just to see how long it would go. And I think it actually ran out of memory card before, or memory card space before it actually got to the point where it said it had to shut off. So, yeah. This case is amazing. 
let me just make sure I get this the right way. It's nice and easy to fit. There you go. It has the little bit here on the bottom of the camera for the magnetic adapter, which is on the helmet, ready to go. And then I have one on the side here, ready to put like that or like that. So yeah. So I've had to take that door off there so that you could use the mic as you're going along. I didn't want to do what I used to do with the old GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition where I drill a hole in the case. I didn't want to do that. This camera's way too nice to be doing things like that too. So yeah, this camera, I love it. Battery lasts super super long stability on it is really really good um yeah color quality is amazing it's not probably not the best one for in the at night time but hey i don't really go out and use the gopro at night uh, dji at night anyway so so yeah so that's the gopro Osmo Action 3. Right, time for the helmet. Now, as you can tell, this here has been covered in duct tape. Basically, when I was in England, I had it on my helmet for like four years, five years, through all sorts of the conditions I'd ride literally every day, even on Christmas Day sometimes. Um, yeah, so when I come across to Australia, I wanted to take it with me and pull it, pulled it off the helmet. Well, when I'd done that, the front like material on it, on it would peel off. So I just pulled it all off and just duct taped over the top of it. Yes, it looks a bit ratty, I suppose, and a bit daggy. But it, it works. I've been out in all weathers and it's it's not got the issue where it tells me it's wet and it needs to shut down. So yeah, it works really, really well. I've had no issues with it. Down the line I would like to get another another one when I'm working. But yeah. So that's my headset. It works well. I think it's only Bluetooth 4.0 as well. But considering that all I do is use it for when I'm on the bike with the with my partner or when I'm listening to music that's, that's ba basically all I use it for so this helmet I never had a helmet like an adventure helmet before so it was different I'm not used to having a peak on the helmet or anything because I had a shark carbon race pro i think it's the scott redden one i'll probably put a picture of it up in on the screen at some point so i had that one in the uk i also had a avg k3 sv helmet now i found in the uk they weren't too noisy they was pretty good now i don't know if it's the bike that i'm on which is the triumph tiger 900 rally pro because of the screen and the position I'm sat in. But this Adventure helmet is actually really, really loud. So it's actually the first time I've actually started wearing earplugs. So yeah. And I've had to, as well, add a bit of material down here. To stop the wind going up. Because this piece here, the wind will be up there all the time. And I don't know if you can see it, but I've got my mic just there. Yeah, you won't be able to see that on the camera. But yeah, so apart from the wind noise in the helmet, I love it. It's really nice. I'm happy with it. I've got the Insta360 chin mount on there just for easy use taking it on and off because I did make one myself with 
a GoPro adapter in England. I basically just stuck it on there and it was on there for good. I didn't didn't want to do that with this one. Uh, I've got the Rode microphone. I've basically routed it through here and it goes around up here. This is my adapter that I use to plug in. I literally just plug it in there. I'm good to go. Just pull it out if I need to or whatever. I'll show you how that goes together in a minute. But yeah, I've literally just wrapped it around the front or just behind this at the moment. And it's in this groove at the top here as well. But I can still shut the helmet enough So yeah, that's that's pretty much my setup. Now, I haven't taken this off because I don't want to move it. I found with the GoPro mics and adapters and bits and bobs for their cameras, you had to unscrew them every time you had to take the GoPro off. I mean, I didn't. I did have a case like this. But you'd still have to unscrew the bottom bit to take the camera out. So, so yeah, I mean, this here is amazing. I can literally just... There you go. That's on. I mean, the mount's loose at the moment, but that's on. That's not coming off. It's as easy as that. And then all I do is plug that in there, and I'm good to go. I can do that whilst wearing the helmet. It's so much easier. I can see the screen which is just there when I'm dri riding along if I need to. So yeah. It's not the ideal setup by any means or stretch of the imagination but that works for me at this point in time. I mean, it's so much tidier than having stuff stuck to your helmet, cables everywhere. It's all root rooted within this little section here. Just unstrap it, pull it off, you wouldn't even know. So yeah, and this this camera, straight off. I can literally just put that on the bike, plug it in, fast charge it as I'm dry riding along. And it charges within 18 minutes to 80%, which is what they say on the DJI website. And I'd say it's pretty damn accurate. So yeah, that's my setup. If you have any questions, please ask. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you for all the subscribers that I've got at the moment do appreciate it. I love all the comments and all the interaction I'm getting. So thank you very much. I'm hoping at some point I can get out of the house and get on the bike. Because we have a grass driveway, it seems to bog at the bottom of the hill because we're on a slope at the bottom of the driveway. There's literally a pond when it rains. So at the moment we've had floods and everything else and I can't get out there at the moment, not on the standard road tyres. So in the next day or two, hopefully, it will be a bit drier and I can get out. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and goodbye for now.